Hi everyone, my name is Justin Bates. I'm the manager of special programs here at Monticello. And I'm gonna do a quick tutorial video on how to operate some of the most unique doors in the house. And those are the self-operating doors going into the parlor. Whenever you visit Monticello, just keep in mind that only guides and staff members can actually touch the door handles. So this is gonna be something that you all will see done on your tour. But whenever a guide comes up to the doors here, they always have to start by opening both with both hands. So, you put both hands on the two knobs and you open both doors simultaneously. All right, so as I mentioned, when we operate the doors, we have to open both doors simultaneously. And this is largely because this door is operated by a bicycle chain-like mechanism that forms a figure eight. And that is all located under the threshold. Now, a lot of people, when they come to Monticello, remember these doors. This might be one of the more memorable parts of the tour. Jefferson uh, is, going, is someone who is really interested in technology and science. So this is one of those things that we can highlight that shows his interest in that subject. When we close the doors, we have to use only our left hand, and we can only close the left door. We can't pull the right door. This is for preservation reasons. We want to make sure that these doors are well taken care of. So you can see that when I close the door, close the left door with my left hand, that both doors will close simultaneously. And that's because that bicycle chain-like mechanism is gonna catch the door on the right. So I'll use my left hand. When we close these doors, you wanna be kind of gentle because the doors themselves are original and these are gonna be used a lot throughout the day. They're gonna be displayed on every single tour that we give here. So I'll use the door on the left with my left hand. I'll kind of pull it a little slowly, and you can kind of feel it catch. You can feel it catch on the chain. And once you feel the door catch, you can start to pull a little harder, but not too hard, because again, you don't want to damage anything. And once you get right to the threshold, slow down just a little bit so that the doors don't bang together. And as you can see, the door on the right, it never closes all the way. This is almost 200 years old, so again, it doesn't work perfectly. And so what we do, just like when we open the doors with our both hands, I kind of do the same thing here. Just put your, your uh, left hand on the left knob and use your right hand to slightly pull that right door closed. One of the most frequently asked questions that we get on tours at Monticello is what's original? A lot of the structure of the house is original. It goes back to Jefferson's time and that includes the floors that we walk on. Uh, it includes the doors that we open and close every day but most of the glass has been replaced. However, on tours, we are able to point out a couple original panes of glass because two exist here in the self-operating parlor doors. In fact, right here, these two panes are original panes of glass that go back to Jefferson's time. Now, as I mentioned, the parlor doors are probably one of the more memorable parts of a tour at Monticello. It's not every day that you see self-operating doors in an 18th century home. A lot of people might think that they operate by magic, but it's really just simple science, and it highlights Jefferson's interest in technology.